Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you for the invite, Drunk Sports. Thank you so much for inviting me to the show. No doubt. Um, mm -hmm. Fred, last before I, before we let you go, I want to talk because, uh, like I said, when I think you know the b business of boxing and just business in general, mm -hmm. you're one of the guys who come to mind. Um, Saudi Arabia, you know. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're they're launching so you know a hostile takeover if you will yeah. you know they've had their hands in in golf they have their, their they invested billions in in soccer now they look like they're trying to you know well they are trying to get into boxing um right. the pif the public investment fund is i heard is holding final negotiations for the initial investment worth up to two billion dollars to start this boxing league you know, 200, 200 boxers, mm. uh, 12 divisions, one belt per division. Mm. Now, like I mean, said, if you ever watch State Property, it's either get down or lay down for these promoters, you know, for Eddie mm -hmm. Hearn, for, for for Oscar De La Hoya, for, for you know, I don't, you know, for Bob, for for, for Al. You know, these guys are going to have to buy in or they're going to be squeezed out. What is, what is your opinion on this league? Are you for it, against it? What are the pros and what are the cons in your opinion? First, let me uh, tell you what Saudi Arabia is doing. Yeah. Saudi Arabia is doing the same thing China is doing. Mm. They're, in, in, they're invading America because they can't go through the United Nations. Mm. China did it through TikTok. They got all our information. Saudi Arabia is doing it through sports. Wow. Uh uh i i genuinely believe that's the end goal for saudi arabia uh they want to compromise america uh just as china wants to compromise america uh like everything you buy through social media is via china at this point you know think about it you know like um uh as it pertains to just surface level the first floor i, I think that's the grand thing the the, the big thing right uh, but if, if you just think about it from a boxing fan standpoint, mm. um, it's a short term solution. But what America is going to do is America is going to unionize them. No mm. president will allow Saudi Arabia to run a boxing sport in America and it be a monopoly. Yeah. First, that's illegal. One, that's illegal. Yeah. And two, Donald Trump is too smart. Donald, like people say he's crazy. But Donald Trump is too smart uh, if he becomes president, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I, I, like I think, yeah. yeah, because he's a, not because I'm, I'm not voting for him. Mm. Uh, I would vote for him over Joe Biden in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm voting for my, if you can hear my kids, I'm voting for Lincoln and Kennedy Hawthorne. On no my doubt. Ballot. I do it every year or every, when it comes up. So uh, he's he has a high sports acumen and he understands what the hell is going on the same way he told us about China right yeah yeah uh so yeah. but they're going to put a tariff on saudi arabia they're going to unionize and it's going to be it may be too expensive you know it, it literally may be too expensive for saudi arabia to actually go on and do it and then you got to create sub subsidiary companies that don't make you a monopoly right, right. i didn't kind of like that, how yeah. uh you can't monopolize the telephone so they right. make sub companies like t-mobile and verizon right. but they all come but you gotta you know so it may be too expensive so 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 they may put put a big i'm gonna I'm use the term tariff yeah but tariff is an umbrella for unionization uh compensatory taxes uh um uh the the over the, the otters country prices you got to pay so uh it's not going to be as easy as it sounds because right, america right. don't play america right. will throw an embargo on saudi arabia in a heartbeat you know um uh don't but just the ideology of it right that's yeah, the business end of it that's very idea. interesting i'm glad great you broke idea. that down great but idea. what do you think about the ideology are you like is it yeah. good for boxing is it yeah yeah yes, yes. because the, the one thing I was a proponent of is a schedule. Mm -hmm. Like, in, I don't follow UFC at all, but they know who they fight next, I believe, right? Right? They, they know they always fight the number one contender, the champion, right? Right. 
right? So, so with that being said, um, I think it'll be great for boxing, right? You know, like, like to know that you ain't got to fight some bum name wise. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I don't want to see you fight this guy. You know, I want to see Canelo fight Benavidez. He's a mandatory, and yeah. I don't want to see three mandatories. I don't want to see no JV belts. How many yeah. times I got to fight for a JV belt? You know. No question. It's like the WWE, the Continental World Champion. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know? I, I'm in agreement with that too. I think uh -huh. I think it cuts all the greedy uh, uh, promoters right, and that bullshit right. they do. They out of there. You know what I'm saying? And and from what they, what they're saying is they'll be bought out, but they'll still uh, own a percentage of the company and run the day to day. So I don't. I think that's all a little bit just you know yeah, figurehead shit. They won't have power. Yeah, they'll they be won't employees. Have power, yeah, yeah. They'll be employees. Yeah. And and it'll be paid handsomely. 